Turn your ugly plant pots into amazing home decor. The how-to's coming right up. Hi, it's Marcy, welcome back. Today we're going from drab to fab. These ugly pots are gonna have a total makeover and transition into some fabulous home decor. Let's go into my studio without further ado and get creative. My first black pot, I'm gonna leave it in its integrity. I'm not gonna cut anything, it's washed and dried. What I am gonna do first is I'm gonna take some Gorilla Tape. I've used this, I really like this. And I'm gonna cover the holes on the sides here from the outside. Now you can see by the size of the pot and my hand that the pot is not that large, but this application that I'm gonna to show to you, you can use on any size pot. We're all taped up inside and outside and we're leaving this hole exposed. Put in a pair of gloves and also I have some, a little bowl of uh, glue all here, Elmer's glue all. And you can see that right there. And I mixed up some wall putty with glue. And all you're gonna do is take your clean pot. I'm gonna smear some glue right here. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you have some plastic or something covering your tabletop area or newsprint, anything that makes it easier for you to clean up. This doesn't have to be too detailed because what we're gonna do is take our wall putty mix and we're going to start smearing this on here. Now this wall putty, you can use 20, 45, it doesn't make any difference, you're mixing it with glue. You're gonna get the cons consistency of a putty and what you're gonna do is smear it on. I like that word smear. You know, layer it on and you're just gonna keep on doing that all around your pot. Okay. This isn't a project for wood glue. I mean, if that's all you had, you could use it, of course. If you don't use glue and you're using it on this flexible plastic pot, you will find that it will just crack when it's dried. All right. You don't have to get too crazy layering this on super thick because we can always pass over with another hand there and you're gonna wanna get this part. Now, before you set it aside to dry, you're gonna take this little pot of glue that you have onto the side, and you're going to kind of smooth it out. Don't use water. And this will help smooth out some of the gloppiness that I've created. And do that in the bottom as well. You can just put it aside and let it dry. This one, same size, has been drying for 24 hours. And I can show you that it's super, super, super strong. Now, yes, there's some areas here that I left open. Uh, I was running an experiment. So right now what I'm gonna do is go back and fill this in. I did wanna show you this though. Um, so you can see the hardness and the consistency of it. I mean, I could take my scissors and that's, that's really durable. And that's what you're gonna want to see there's no flexibility there and that's what we want in our pot right so what i'm gonna do is take my glue once again onto the pot that i've already done yesterday it's been drying it's different thicknesses in different areas you could leave it like this if that didn't bother you for me i am going to continue uh, so that I can get the same thickness. For example, this is thicker than this. So I'm going to uh, continue whipping up some mixture. And this is simply the wall putty with the glue. I'm painting one of my pots with the Rust-Oleum metallic interior wall paint. It's a white pearl. 
it just adds enough shimmer to keep me satisfied here. I think it's gonna be very, very pretty. Let's just do one brief coat real quick, get into all these crevices. So, okay, so check this out. For one of the treatments, what we're gonna do is we're going to use the Gorilla Glue and wrap the jute around the top part. Now, keep in mind, we already did this as a pearlescent. It's super, super pretty. I don't know if you can see that shine, that shimmer. It's really, really quite elegant. I'm gonna, do this. I'm gonna start about here. And now that's just to get me started. We don't have to do the entire thing with the glue stick. What I'm gonna do right here is to finish off the piece with a rosette in the front. And that's gonna give it a nice finished look. Very, very pretty. For our pot number two, I'm going to take a small rag rug. I'm gonna take the fringe of this Cut it about an inch and a half in because some of it's going to hang over here, some of it's coming down here, the fringes. I'm going to wrap it around with a hot glue. Okay, so I'm thinking that. Now keep in mind, we finished this off with the same pearlescent paint. Uh, I sprayed it a little bit in the interior so it wasn't as noticeable and it's a more finished look. But this should be very pretty. I'm gonna wrap this around like so. Now, to get a smooth look here, you may have to make slits into the fabric for it to go down. And I think that's, well, maybe I won't have to do that, I don't know. So take a little look-see here. Make sure everything is about even. All right, so I'm gonna start off the gluing process right here, which just looks as good as point as any. Overlapping a little bit. All right, so. Okay. How nice is that? Okay, so check this out. Same black pot, same size, same everything, except what I did was the top was kind of funky, so I cut it down a little bit. I didn't like the rough ed edges on it. And also I wanted to run an experiment to see if the pot or the plastic would maintain the integrity when the mixture of the wall putty and glue was put on and dried. And yes, it did maintain the integrity and it's stiff and, and uh, definitely uh, not flexible like your typical inexpensive black garden pot uh, that's plastic. So we're gonna finish this one out. So it's the same mixture of the glue and wall putty. We're gonna take our Gorilla Glue and we're gonna create a band using this extra piece of fabric that I had. Once again, I'm gonna create a band-like effect. Actually, I don't want that much there. I'll do this and then we create like this. All right, I'm gonna start in the inside. Okay, now here, I'm going to bring this down, make sure that all the way around, it's pretty much the same. What I ended up doing was slitting the interior part of the inside cuff, and it definitely laid down a lot flatter. And I'm just gonna finish this up by doing a bead here at certain points and tucking the piece of fabric under so it gives it a more finished look. If you want to leave it raw and as a, a plain edge, that's okay too. Nice. 
very, very nice. A couple points here, keep it flat so it doesn't go anywhere. And we're good to go. All right, pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, we're gonna finish this off by taking, see, I had a turquoise strand that I really enjoyed. Let me see how that's gonna look, I'm not sure. Um, I know it will look good, right? Or we can do bamboo, let me see. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with the turquoise, honestly. Yeah, turquoise is in. The only other thing I want to do was to take my cording and run a thin line of glue down the center here over the seam. Now, do you need this? No, but I'm putting it on anyway. Okay, like that, let it dry. Now my thought was to take some bamboo and to run it maybe this way. Kind of interesting, or this way. Hmm, we'll do that. Okay, done. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful day.